Sustainability is one of the most important issues of our generation. While banks are already playing a role in providing financing to companies for ESG related work, there is still lots more that needs to be done. One of the challenges is the availability of standardized and credible information on a company's current carbon footprint and its moves to mitigate this. So how can banks, corporations and technological companies collaborate in the move towards net zero emissions? Ashutosh Kumar, Managing Director and Head of Global Transaction Banking Asia and Oceania, Oceania at Mizuho Bank joins us now to talk more about these issues. Hi Ashutosh, thanks for taking the time. Thank you Nia, for having me here. So let's talk, let's get right into it. What are banks doing uh, to finance companies in their journey to net zero? Yeah. So banks are doing quite a few things in this area. I would primarily talk about five things which banks are doing. The first one, is they are coming up with their own positions towards net zero. How are they themselves going to go towards net zero? How are they going to reduce their scope one, scope two emissions? And, and then track those plans. This in many ways sets the tone for the entire industry. The second, uh, they are actually then coming out with positions on which industries are they going to reduce the financing on. And this is really, to make sure that companies in those industries are encouraged towards move from brown to green. And that is again quite helpful. The third one, they have started to set up dedicated teams towards sustainability. These teams have the knowledge about the industry, how to finance them, what is happening in the industry, what companies are doing in terms of reducing their carbon footprint. And, and this is not just about financing, but also about working with the companies on advisory. How do you get there, right? What can, apart from financing, what else can banks bring to their companies? So these three are broad areas. Coming back to financing, right? So banks are allocating much more resources, capital, and financing towards sustainable finance, right? Um, now, it is quite readily available. There are still um, areas where banks are working, but quite readily available. And then the last area is also quite innovative and different, right? What banks are doing is providing opportunity to their uh, companies and to their customers to come and invest in green assets. So how do they do that? They do that by providing green deposit or green uh, bonds and individuals or companies can come and invest in them. The proceeds of these green deposit or bonds can only be used towards financing of green loans or something with a green purpose. So this is what banks are doing, quite exciting. So talk us through the different types of financing that's available at the moment for companies to further their sustainability goals. Yeah. So I would say broadly there are many types of financing, but I would categorize them into two broad categories. The first one is where the use of proceeds of the loan is monitored. And the proceeds of the loan can only go towards a green project or green cause. Uh, now this is quite uh, um, good because the banks and the companies can directly put money which will help the environment to improve and, and the whole society to improve, move towards a green uh, there. Now how they do it is that the company would come up with projects which they want to, to, to work towards in terms of a green and then banks would say okay fine, how do we select the project, what is the environmental benefit towards this project, how would the company benefit from moving from wherever they are in terms of carbon footprint to, to move uh, further and ahead of that. And on that basis, then they decide to finance. What they monitor is the proceeds can only be used for that. They will make sure that it is delivering the outcome which the company mentioned and all of that. So this is broadly the first one. The second one is what, what really helps deliver better sustainability outcomes from a future perspective. Now, this is typically called sustainable linked loans or sustainable linked bonds or even sustainable linked supply chain finance. Under this, the company will go ahead and commit to future improvement in sustainable outcomes within a predefined timeline. So I think both are fixed. You have to promise something which will happen and within a predefined timeline. Now, in order to achieve that, there are KPIs which are set up. Uh, the companies would agree on something called sustainable performance targets and then works towards achieving all of that. This is quite important because this, while the proceeds of these are not monitored towards the green, company can use towards any, any purpose, but 
the good thing in this is that the company is committing towards uh, improvement in sustainable outcomes. Mm -hmm. Once those targets are met, which are called sustainable performance targets, then the company would get a reduction in their interest rates or in the margin towards the loan. Mm. And so, of course, these are great <coughs> goals and strategies, but there are always challenges. Can you talk a little bit about the challenges that both the <coughs> banks and the companies face? I think one of the biggest challenge which I would talk about is the availability of data and information, right? I mean, in order for us to do any of these, we need a lot of information and data, right? The two things which I talked about, either the green loan or the sustainability linked loans, both of them require a lot of data and information. If I talk about the green loan, right? The banks and the companies have to monitor that the purpose of the financing or where it is going is towards a green cause. How did they select the project? How are they using the proceeds? Is it really going into which is something green, right? Um, so take an example, if the company was supposed to work on wastewater management, right? Um, then they will come to the bank and say, I want to work on wastewater management um, by investing in technology. The bank would be happy to finance, but they would want to make sure that the proceeds of the loan are going towards investing in that technology. And that tracking is very important. Um, now, the second one, which I talked about, sustainability linked loans, right? Now, in that case, data is even more important because first, the company has to agree on a future outcome within a predefined timeline uh, on sustainability improvements. Now, that information is quite critical because this is very important, right? It has to be ambitious. It has to be a credible target, which means the company themselves have to declare what is their carbon footprint. How are they going to improve from there? How are they going to measure it? And typically, in these cases, they will work with a third-party bank and companies, which are typically clean tech companies, and, and they will work with them uh, in order to make sure that uh, those things are tracked, monitored, and reported. Most importantly, what the bank would want is a third party which would come and opine, did the company meet their KPIs? Did the company achieve the sustainable performance targets? If they did, then they will get a better rate or reduction in their interest rates. Mm. So let's talk solutions then, shall we, Ashutosh? What's, uh, what are the plans to overcome these challenges? And, and how can banks collaborate to find ways to overcome them? Yeah. So I think this is something which is banks have already started to do in many ways, what we call collaborative finance. So banks are actually working with technology companies. Typically, these are called clean tech companies, right? These companies are experts in terms of the technology, but also have a good understanding of the sustainability. Right? They have a good understanding of what industries they are in. And many of them specialize in particular industries. They, they will understand the carbon footprint of the industry, what works for them. Not only that, they are also into advisory. How can a company improve their carbon footprint? Right? Uh, should they change the way they are shipping? Uh, should they do things differently? And by doing so, these companies actually help the uh, these clean tech companies actually help the companies, but also the banks in terms of financing. In terms of MISO, we have such partnerships as well. Right? Uh, one of the partnerships which I would like to talk about is with a company called Terascope. Terascope is a Singapore-based uh, clean tech company. Uh, they work in carbon visualization, which means a company should be able to visualize their carbon footprint, and then more importantly, how can they improve from there? The idea from this partnership is that this can be used by our clients, Mizo's clients, in their journey towards decarbonization. How can they work towards it? Do they understand their footprint? And how will they improve from where they are currently? Such an important conversation, Ashutosh, and we appreciate you uh, taking the time to, to come by and chat with us here at Cyboss TV. That's Ashutosh Kumar, Managing Director and Head of Global Transaction Banking, Asia and Oceania at Mizuho Bank. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for your time.